Hi, I'm Sam Miller of Rematch Stars Realty, and I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the changes that have been happening in the Central Ohio housing market. So the report that I've got on the screen uh, is specific to the greater area of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I'm in Knox County, so I'm about an hour north, uh, but these numbers certainly apply to our market. We're in the same multiple listing service, our houses as Columbus. So we're feeding a lot of our market data into this report. And the same is exactly true for houses in Columbus and the surrounding areas are also feeding this report. So um, I wanna begin by saying that over the last 20 years, this chart goes back to 2004. And so it shows you the trend of appreciation and it shows you some depreciation where values went down during the economic crisis that we really started seeing happening in 2006. And really until 2011, uh, the values were decreasing, they were going down. In 2012, we started to see the market recover and we started seeing some appreciation. Now it's important to say when you have a one and a half percent appreciation, the thing that you wanna remember is the values had dropped 20 and 30% in a lot of areas during the depreciation time, and then it started to rise up. So it's easy to rise up when the value is already down. And a lot of people wouldn't say that, but it is the truth. It's, it's what really happened. Um, and then of course, we've seen nothing but appreciation since 2011. 2011 was our last year where values were on the decline. Uh, in 2012, they started to rise. Now. A comment that I hear a lot in the real estate business or real estate industry is that, you know, home prices have jumped up so much that there's a lot of people who can't afford to purchase a home. And I hear it. Uh, I hear it. I see it. Uh, and I also see the cases where uh, elderly people own their homes free and clear, but the cost of real estate taxes, insurance, you, basic utilities, their food costs and everything else. They don't have a house payment, but they have all these other expenses and their social security or their pension or retirement has not gone up enough in value for them to be able to afford to really stay in their home. And, and, and I sympathize with them because there isn't anything that most of us can do to lower their cost of living. Uh, but the problem is their expenses to live in that property have gone up. None of our gas bills or electric bills or our homeowners insurance or property taxes really have gone down in the last 10 years. It's just not happening and I don't see it happening. Uh, so again, I sympathize with those that are on extreme fixed incomes because they're really feeling it. Their peak income earning years are probably behind them. So it's harder for them to compensate for that. So, and again, a lot of real estate agents don't want to they don't want to touch on that topic, but it is a reality. We are we are talking to clients that own their homes free and clear that say, I want to sell, I'm going to move into a rental. I just can't afford to be here anymore. So now I'm going to give you some good news because of course that's a little bit of a downer, but it's realistic. You can see the appreciation, the home value going up each year, but you're, you really can see like in 2020, 2021, 2022, we're having 12% increases, 15% increases. And in Knox County, where I'm located, um, our home prices on average are lower in Knox County than they are, say, in, in Franklin or Delaware uh, County. And, and for that reason, we started with a lower baseline price. So we actually had a year where we had over a 20% appreciation in home values in a single year. Uh, again, part of that is driven by more affordability. You get a lot of house here for your money. And uh, so we did have some rapid uh, increase, especially as during the, the pandemic where people were able to work from home, they weren't worried about the commute. So a lot of them would come here and they would buy as long as the house had access to high speed internet so they could work from home. We had a lot of people move into our area uh, that hadn't considered living here before because you know they wanted to be within 15 minutes of work, but as soon as they didn't have to be anymore and they could work from home, it opened up lots of opportunities. So now the big purpose of today uh, talking about this is I want you to look at 2024. So we went from last year about eight and a half percent in central Ohio, the Columbus area appreciation value to so far this year, we're closer to about a 1% increase. 
So, and, and that'll be probably a little higher towards the tail end of the year, because this is really, this report is only based on the first six months of the year. Tomorrow is the uh, first day of the fourth quarter. We're finishing uh, the third quarter of the year today, today being September 30th. So we'll get another report and I'll do an update for you to show you how, you know, this is six months. I'll show you how nine months uh, compares. And like I said, I think the appreciation will go up a little. I don't think it'll be like three or 4%, but might be one and a half or 2% uh, total appreciation this year, which is really much more calm than where we were last year at eight and a half percent. So um, do you have questions about real estate? Feel free to add a comment down below. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. Our phone number is 740-397-7800. I just wanted to give you a little bit of good news because um, lots of people have been concerned that you know you can't stay on this treadmill and watch these values keep going up, up, up at the pace they are. A lot of people aren't gonna be able to afford to buy homes. Uh, I think the market is shifting. I think it's stabilizing. I think it's getting, uh, we're starting to see more inventory on the market. And one of the things that drove this crazy appreciation was a low supply of homes, meaning there were far more buyers than there were sellers. And so when you've got a huge demand and a really limited supply, it puts a lot of pressure on the value uh, of houses and houses were selling. And you can see it just as clear as can be, you know, you have 12%, 15%, uh, appreciation in a single year. Um, there were multiple offers on homes and they were even pushing these houses over the asking price as far as sale prices. So uh, I guess if you got questions, feel free to reach out to us. I'm Sam Miller, Remax Stars Realty. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Till next week.